Hi, kindergarten first grade friends. Mrs. Cavallari here with my daughter, Rose. Rose. And today we're going to talk about the seven sacraments. These are gifts within the church that we receive throughout our lifetime, special gifts that Jesus left for us. Rose, can you show me seven fingers? Seven, okay? Let's count them one by one. Baptism. One. Confirmation. Two. Eucharist. Three. Reconciliation. Four. Anointing of the sick. Five. Holy orders. Six. And matrimony. Seven. Very good. Now, we're going to talk about a couple of them, really special ones that you guys know and one you've probably had. And the other ones you'll learn a little bit more about when you get older, okay? The very first one is baptism. Rose, were you baptized? Yes. Yes. Do you remember it? Mm -mm. You know why? Because mm -mm. you were a baby? baby, right. Our church baptizes babies. So raise your hand if you were baptized. Yeah, you might have to ask mom and dad to see pictures or to ask stories about it because we baptize babies. And today, Rose, who do you have with you? I do have a baby, which I forget what the name is because I haven't really named him. You haven't? Well, we'll just say baby. Yeah. So this is one of Rose's babies, and mm -hmm. baby actually has on a bib that Rose got at her baptism. Our church gave this bib, and you'll notice, what color is it? White. White. I mean red. White is the sign of purity, being washed clean. And Hold red. on, and that's what baptism does. And then Rose noticed these fancy kind of letters. They're Greek the letters. X. Looks yes, like a P but... and an X in red, but it's the Cairo, which are the first two Greek letters for Christ, which means when we're baptized, we're baptized in the name of Jesus, yeah, Jesus. Christ. Okay? Now, Rose, do you think we can baptize baby? Mm-hmm. Just we have pretend. Water. Just pretend. If you we even have water. We do have water. So... When you baptize a baby in our church, we do it in the name of the Trinity. And we know what that is. We've already talked, right? You want to hold the baby? Okay. You hold the baby right here. Let's make sure we can see. Can you hold her up? All right. So then when you're baptized, and you can maybe practice this at home, all right? Play what it is. You take some water, and then we baptize the baby in the name of the... Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kind of looks like she's baby. crying. Oh, crying of joy. Because Which baptism means? means that we are welcomed into God's life. Mm -hmm. The earlier original sin is washed away. We are clean and white. And we have received the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. It's an awesome thing. We are sealed in Christ Jesus. Yay. So if you are baptized, you are sealed in Christ Jesus uh -huh. through baptism. Yeah. Cool, huh? Now, the second one is confirmation. Now, in our church, we often baptize as babies, and then you are confirmed when you're older. Maybe you know somebody who's been confirmed. Rose's oldest brother was confirmed in eighth grade. And at St. Terrence, the eighth graders will be confirmed this year. So maybe if you know somebody in your family, you can talk to them about their confirmation or what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay? Another one is the Eucharist. The Eucharist, every time we go to Mass and the priest holds up the host and says, this, this is, is the bread. This is more than just the bread. Well, this this is, is the body of... Jesus. Jesus. God. Right? Yes, exactly. The and when you're in second grade, you will prepare to receive your first Holy Communion. Okay, first grade. So next year, I'll second grade, it. you get to receive Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's exciting, first graders. Mm -hmm. Then we also have reconciliation. And do you sometimes mess up, Rose? Yes. Do you ever have to say, I'm sorry? Yes. Me too. Lots of times. All of us do. 
And are we forgiven? Does mom forgive you? Everybody forgives you. I hope. Do yeah. you forgive me? Uh-huh. Does Jesus forgive us? Uh-huh. Every single time we do something bad. When we come to that. Jesus and say, I am so sorry, Jesus says, I, I forgive, forgive you. you. And that is the sacrament of confession or reconciliation. It's a beautiful, beautiful gift that you'll also get to receive next year. Then we have anointing of the sick. Do you know anyone who's sick, Rose? Mm -hmm. Probably all of us do right now. COVID or just the regular flu or someone with cancer or there are so many things that can happen to us in this world and people who are sick. And so if we need a priest to come, then they can do a special anointing and help us to say sorry to God and bring us the Eucharist. And there's just a special anointing that they can do. So that's a beautiful gift of the church. Just wait, please, okay? Um, then we have holy orders. <gasps> Maybe. Have you ever thought about growing up to be a priest or a religious sister, a nun? I have. Really? That's good. All of us, when we grow up, should think, hmm, is God calling me to be a priest or a religious? Well, I can really that is a call that a God could have on your life. So, like Father Tommy at St. Thomas, or St. Terrence, excuse me, he has received holy orders. That's a sacrament that bestows upon him the holy gift to be a priest. We're so grateful for that. Now, you might grow up and be called to be a priest or a religious sister, or you might be called to matrimony. That's a fancy word for marriage. Are your mom and dad married? Mm -hmm. Do they have a book? Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of us might have a wedding album. I have lots. So this might be something fun to get out and look at. A wedding album that shows the pictures of when mom and dad got married in the church. Matrimony is another special gift that the church bestows on us and God can call us to. Oh, yes. Rose reminded me, we forgot, a gift that you often receive in baptism is... A candle. A candle. You always Which will. also has the other... The Cairo. Do you see that Cairo. same sign? Yes. Hey. And up here, there's a sign of a dove, I also the saw Holy something. Spirit, and the baptismal font. I also saw something else. If you look very closely, what are those two things? These I two letters? It is. More Greek letters. The Alpha and the, the Omega. Omega. Right. The beginning and the end. Jesus uh, and alpha God is forever. A, mm -hmm. Alpha. And omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet. Okay. So God is forever, and he seals us as his own forever. All right? So the seven sacraments. How many are there? Seven. Seven gifts. One you've already received, mm -hmm. and then there are six others that you could receive within your lifetime. That's pretty cool. Every time you receive a sacrament, it's or, God's special gift to us through the or church. Or if your family is going to be having another baby, then they are, are going to be getting baptized. Absolutely. It's a beautiful thing. Always mm -hmm. baptize new babies. All right. Thank you, kindergarten first graders.